yeah yeah girl I don't know but anyways hi you guys welcome back to another vlog do not mind my hair it was wash day the other day and I really didn't feel like doing my hair like that so I just put it in oversized bantu knots and I was supposed to be taking it out today to vlog not vlog but to film today but I really don't feel good my stomach hurts so I was like let me just get something accomplished today and um, the stuff for my countertops came in. So I was like, let's try to do these countertops today. I feel like if I don't get anything done today, I'm just gonna be like, wow, this is a waste of a day. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get into this bathroom makeover because I really did leave y'all hanging on the last vlog um, because I didn't finish the bathroom. Y'all saw that I was irritated. <laughs> I just had to put the bathroom down for a minute because everything that I was doing to the bathroom was just not it, so. It's a new day, it's a new month, let's get into it. All right, so this is the contact paper that I'm going to be using. I ordered it from Amazon and I did already wipe off my counter so everything is clean and ready to go. And I also already cut, pre-cut, the pieces that need to go on the countertops. So this part is what's going to be going right here. Like I said, everything is already measured and then I already measured the countertop part, but I think I want to do this part first and then this side part that you guys can't really see and then do the countertop, the actual, this, okay. The actual countertop, I think I wanna do that last. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and get started um, and I'll voice over this so it will be easier for you guys to kind of understand what I'm doing, so. Yeah. Okay, so I didn't really do a good job at showing you guys what I did. Um, and then I just couldn't get the angles because it, it was just too difficult. If you're going to do this, I would highly recommend you have somebody help you. Um, doing this little strip was fine by myself, but in total, this whole thing took me like four hours just to do the bathroom and the bathroom countertops aren't that big. So imagine doing the kitchen. So if you're gonna do this, have somebody help you, or if you don't have anybody to help you, you're just gonna have to have a lot, a lot, a lot of patience because I didn't have no patience with this. I thought this was gonna take like an hour, so I was rushing it and not putting the paper down correctly. And I ran into like air bubbles and the um, contact paper folding and not laying down flat. It was just a whole mess, but at the end of it, it still looked pretty decent, but it doesn't look seamless, if that makes sense. So clear out a whole day, maybe two, maybe three, and have somebody help you. If you don't have anybody to help you, take a chill pill. If you're of age, you might wanna drink some wine to calm your nerve. <laughs> and if you're not feeling 100%, do it on a different day. Okay, so I think I'm gonna stop right here for tonight. I still have to go back and finish this off. This side looks really, really good. I messed up right here y'all a struggle um and then i messed up right here <laughs> y'all this looks <sighs> this didn't come out how i wanted it to it's actually a lot harder than it looks it's whatever for right now i know i have the light on it that's how it looks in real life so yeah that's how we're rocking for right now messed up right here um, I'm thinking about getting some spray paint or something like that to like camouflage some of the mistakes that I made, but um, yeah, that's how we looking. <laughs> okay, so here is how the countertops came out. And honestly, from a far away distance, they look really, really good. But here's the folding that I was talking about when it came to getting around the sink it was so hard so i recommend instead of trying to do it all at one time cut it in half do half of the sink first and then measure around the sink and do the other half 
I hope that makes sense. But all in all, I really like how this pulled together my bathroom. I love the vibe because the old countertops were no bueno. Hey y'all, so I'm back a couple days later. Y'all saw that I did my countertops and honestly, I need to do them over because they look a hot mess. I really like how it brightened up my bathroom and I can't wait to do the kitchen. But yeah, I just wanted to come on here because um, there's a lot going on right now. Monday. Y'all know my stomach was hurting. I wasn't really in the mood to vlog. So that's why I wasn't like in the camera, in the camera. I just wanted to do the counters just to accomplish something that day. I got a call letting me know that I was being laid off. So um, yeah, that's, that's what happened Monday. And I'm feeling a lot of emotions right now. And it took me a while to even feel anything because when it first happened, Kiana and Trish was like, so how you feeling? I was just like, I'm chilling, honestly. Like I'm, I'm really chilling. It didn't really sink in yet. So I think it's starting to sink in. And I think I'm starting to come to the realization that I got laid off. It kind of feels like it's not real a little shocked a little sad because i i didn't think my mac journey would end like this um i definitely wanted to move up in the company i wanted to be on the corporate side of things i don't know it was just like a lot of stuff going through my head like why did y'all think it was okay to lay off so many people at one time i'm feeling a little scared because like what am i going to do y'all know i just moved into a new apartment so it's just like okay <laughs> something else i was just going to be like okay i'm laid off and not say anything about it um but i was like nah let me document this because i know i'm not the only one that got laid off you know what i'm saying but it just feels like it's happening to me but i know it's not just happening to me if you look at the numbers right now the unemployment numbers i know it's just not happening to me but dang <laughs> at this point i don't even know what to say i know i can feel how i want to feel this is that and the third but i'm not the type of person that likes to soak in my feelings well it depends on certain stuff but i'm not the type of person that likes to soak when stuff like this happens i'm just like okay what are we gonna do to fix it the only person that i told was my best friend i didn't even tell francis yet and i didn't even tell portia so nobody really knows um i'll probably tell portia and francis before i put this vlog out i'll probably tell them tomorrow because tomorrow is when i go to collect my belongings go clean out my cubby i never thought i would wow this is crazy like i've watched shows about people getting laid off and them packing up their stuff and cleaning out their cubbies and now it's happening to me what oh my god <laughs> that's really crazy a month's cleaning out my cubby tomorrow i also have to return some stuff to target i have to return some stuff that i got from amazon because i got some stuff from amazon let me show y'all so i ordered some stuff from amazon for my bathroom and they're like the little things that you put on the wall for like your towels and rags and i thought they were really modern really sleek and they can like just up the bathroom in a way you know what i'm saying kind of like that but i was putting it on that side where um the bathroom where the shower is so when i get out the shower i can just grab my towel off of this but this keeps on falling off the wall so i'm sending it back amongst some sunglasses that i got from amazon i don't feel like opening up the package but i ordered some blu-ray glasses from amazon because i'm always dealing with technology so i ordered those they don't fit they're too small and then i also ordered some more um sunglasses so when i'm driving i can put those on but none of that worked and i also have to go to tj maxx and return these bras that i got because they don't fit me and then i also have to return all of this stuff that i got from pretty little thing because none of it fits so 
I'll be returning that as well. And then I'll probably pick up some more stuff for my bathroom and the rest of my apartment. I have a lot of stuff sitting right here that I just need to go ahead and do a haul of, which I plan on doing, but a lot of stuff that I've ordered hasn't come in yet. So I'm kind of waiting on that stuff because I want to do like a big haul. So yeah, I want to do that. And I'm working on main channel videos as well. Um, I just filmed a get ready with me today and I have a Fenty beauty video on standby. Of course, I have this vlog and then there's another vlog that I'm working on right now with the um, get ready with me. So I'm working on two videos right now for like my main channel, like the beauty part of my channel. So yeah, that's what I have going on. That's what I will be doing tomorrow. And I have some stuff that I need to take to Plato's closet so yeah that's all i have to talk about right now um it's really late it's like 12 o'clock and i need to go to sleep because i have to wake up early in the morning to clean out my cubby yeah yeah girl <sighs> these are some really trying times and i'm taking some sleeping gummy bears because your girl doesn't like going to sleep it's not that i don't like going to sleep it's like i don't feel sleepy like i can really stay up all night and edit this video if i want to and i'll be okay in the morning i'll be delusional but i'll be okay i will see y'all in the morning okay okay good night i've been running errands all day y'all i haven't really taken y'all with well, i haven't taken y'all with me at all because I had the kids with me earlier and it's just hard for me to do stuff when I have them with me so I didn't film none of that so the first thing I did this morning was clean out my cubby thing from work and then after that I went to um, Kohl's to return some stuff that I got from Amazon after I left Kohl's I had to go drop my mom off at work and then that's when the kids was with me and then um, after that I went grocery shopping because I needed some groceries for the house. Today has definitely been a day. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm low-key annoyed, but I'm really trying to like be calm. So I'm just gonna come back to you guys later because people keep blowing up my phone. <laughs> so I will talk to y'all later. Okay? Okay. I'm gonna be doing a grocery haul because I've been in this apartment for about two months now and I haven't done a big haul yet of just stuff that I need in the apartment because I keep finding myself going to the store one because I'm not the only person that lives here and I do have my niece and nephews right now and they're eating me out of the house <laughs> and um yeah I just need more food in the house so that's what all of these bags so that's why all of these bags are behind me for it. There's a lot of food. I'm trying to do better when it comes to eating, okay? So let's just go ahead and get into this haul. I'm going to start with the stuff in front of me um, and then I'll get to the stuff behind me from Aldi. From Dollar General, I just got some paper towels because they're needed. Got like three rolls and then I also got some aluminum foil and I got two of them. So that's something i got four of these because um it's easy to cook and my niece and nephews like it i make like a spaghetti type of dish with it it's not really like spaghetti spaghetti because the noodles are big but i don't know i guess it's just fun to eat so um i'm gonna keep buying them because it's easy to make okay another thing from target i got these jumbo shells and i got these because i really want to make this right here but i don't really know how to make it so i just got the shelves so i can have it in the pantry so when i do want to make it or when i do figure out how to make this dish i can go ahead and make it so i think that would be fun to cook i'm really excited because i've always wanted to make a dish like this but i never knew how so when i figure out how to make it y'all gonna see a picture on my instagram and then i also got another dish mat from Target because the one that I got from Ross, I think, it gets wet. I wash a lot of dishes, we wash a lot of dishes, we use this kitchen a lot, and I'd be needing another one when that one is getting washed. So I just bought another one from Target, and I'm not sure how much this was. And then I got some Raid because, yeah, I don't like bugs. 
I got two of them. I always have these on deck because if I see a bug, I just freak out and I need something to kill it instantly. If y'all have ever been around me when there was a bug, y'all be like, sis, you're bigger than the bug. The next thing I got is this Velveeta for my niece and my nephews because they love it. I mean, I, I nibble on it. I don't really eat it like that, but I make it for them. They love it. And then I also got some sanitizers from Walmart because those are needed. So I got some of that. I probably should have went to like Sam's Club or something like that, but I don't like going to overpopulated places. So Sam's Club was just a no-go. I like going to places where I'm comfortable at and that I already know, which is why you guys see me going to Target a lot. Target is very familiar to me and I don't be on edge really when I, well, I still be on edge a little bit if my niece and nephews are with me, but Target is a familiar place. So I'm not as anxious when I go to Target, okay? I don't, why did I bring up Target? Oh yeah, because I didn't go to Sam's Club. <laughs> All of this stuff I probably could have got at Sam's Club. Um, or some of you guys were telling me to go to Costco's. We don't have a Costco's. So the next best thing to Costco's here is Sam's Club. And I just told y'all I'm not going to Sam's Club because it's just too much be going on in Sam's Club. It's, it's too many people for me. So yeah, and then I went to good old Ross and I got, what did I get? Oh, I got some face masks for my niece and my nephews. And then I also got me some face masks as well, some black ones. And then I got some straws because I've been needing some straws that I can wash and keep reusing because, you know, save the earth. And then I went to TJ Maxx and I got a car mount for my car, which is already in my car. And then I got a candle. I really don't know what this smells like because I have my mask on, but when I was looking at it, it said pumpkin on it and then it had vanilla. So I was like, I'm probably gonna like it because I like vanilla scented stuff. So I got this huge candle from TJ Maxx and it's so cute. I like how simple and white it is. There isn't no random fonts on here. Everything looks cohesive and clean. So that's why I got this. And it smells so good. It smells really, really good. Oh, another reason why I got a candle is because when we be cooking in here, the smell goes throughout the whole house. And I don't know what it is. It just irritates me. It just smells up the whole house. And I'm just like, I don't want my clothes smelling like fried chicken. Okay. So I got a candle and I got to get some more plugs for the walls because y'all, when I it, y'all probably like, dang, everything irritates you. <laughs> But I know, I know y'all, I know y'all feel me. Don't nobody want their clothes smelling like fried chicken or food. That's just not cute. Y'all have any like suggestions as to what I can do to make sure my house don't be smelling like food? Um, let me know because I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Let's move on to the stuff that I got from Aldi's. Should I just bring them up there? Yeah, y'all are kind of far. Yeah, let me just bring these up there. But then again, I want y'all to see everything. All right, so in the first bag from Aldi's are snacks. I got some veggie straws because I really like these when I'm eating avocado toast. Like if I'm eating lunch or something like that, I like to make a big lunch because I already told y'all, majority of the time I don't be eating more than once a day. I know it's bad, I, I know. And then the kids like these as well. So, you know, good healthy snack for them because they be over here trying to eat candy all day. There's something here right now. That's only because my nephew had a birthday party the other day and I needed to make um, party bags. That's the only reason why there's candy in here. And then I got some more veggie chips, but these are actual like chips and not straws. And then I got some cookies. Just in case I'm having like a sweet tooth. Those are for me when I want like a sweet snack. And then I got some Oreos because I want to put these in a cookie jar. It's gonna be really, really cute. And then I got some more cookies, well, chocolate chip cookies as well. I got some dinosaur nuggets for my niece and nephew. Something fun for them to eat and I know they're gonna eat it. I'll probably do lunch with these. So got these for them. And then I got some fruit snacks, some more stuff for the kids that they can eat. So I got those, 
And then I got some Cheez-Its. They're not really Cheez-Its, but cheesy baked crackers. I got these. It's a good snack. I like to eat them. They like to eat them. So it's all good. And then I got some more butter flavored spray. So when I'm cooking, I can just spray the pan and not have any problems. These are from Aldi's. All, majority of the stuff that I got is from Aldi's. I keep saying it, but from Aldi's. <laughs> and these are some more backup of chocolate chip cookies. So after the jar runs out, I have these on standby. And then I also got some Krispy Kreme gluten-free, non-GMO. <laughs> Basically, these are healthy versions of Rice Krispie Treats. So yeah, got some boxes of that. I got some chocolate because I really love this chocolate. This chocolate is so good. If y'all ever see this chocolate, buy it like y'all. This chocolate is so good. So I had, I had to get some chocolate. I had to. And then I picked up some more seasonings for my seasoning drawer. So I got everything bagel seasoning for my avocado toast. And then I got some more garlic powder, I think. Did I already get garlic powder? I think I got onion powder last time I went shopping. So yeah, this is garlic powder. And then I got some ground cinnamon. And then I got some red pepper also for my um, avocado toast because I really like spicy avocado toast. So got some seasoning for that. And then this is steak seasoning i've never heard of steak seasoning but it was pretty i like the way it looks so i was like let me get it maybe i can just season up my chicken with it so got that all of this is going to go in my seasoning drawer which is right there it looks a hot mess right now because my um little drawer organizers didn't come in yet but all of this is gonna be in here let me show y'all real quick how the drawer is looking just easy access because the stove is right here so you know it just makes sense and these are all the seasons that we already had got some curry some more cinnamon oh i need some more jerk we ran out of jerk seasoning that is not cool because i like putting jerk seasoning on my avocado toast as well so I need to go get some of that. So I'll put that on the list. So yeah, this is the seasoning drawer. It looks so good. Yes. And when I get my little organizers, this is going to look even better. So yeah, that's that drawer. How can I go if I can't find myself enough to know when it's time, time to let go. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so that's how the pantry is looking right now, which is why I'm telling y'all I feel like I need to get some organizing pieces because I feel like I can fit way more in here because you see the top layer on top of the like pastas. I can put something else on top of that if I had like a little a little stand thingy where they could sit on. But another problem for another day. Right now, we just doing groceries, okay? If I can't tell myself enough to know when it's time, time to let go. All right, we're down to the last two bags. Oh, I got another chocolate. So I got two chocolates. And then I re-upped on some juice because this is already in the refrigerator. And then I got another apple juice. That's really the only juice that be in the refrigerator. So I just re-upped on that. And we got some cereal for the kids. 
and kind of me because I like Cinnamon Toast Crunch too, but I really don't drink milk anymore. There's regular milk in the refrigerator right now, but I normally drink the almond milk when I make my coffees. Other than that, I don't drink milk because I don't like how the almond milk tastes by itself. So I'm really trying to find a milk that I can eat with my cereal because I just don't like the taste of almond milk with cereal or by itself. And I like to taste the milk or the almond milk before I put it in anything because some almond milks that I be drinking just makes me want to throw up. If you guys have any recommendations on your favorite almond milk or something like that, please let me know because obviously I need help. I got some Honey Nut Cheerios. These are like the knockoff brand of Honey Nut Cheerios. I really like Honey Nut Cheerios, so these are for me, but I don't know when I'm gonna eat them because I need to find a milk that I can drink. So I got that. And then I got some Fruit Loops, the knockoff version of Fruit Loops. I like these better than the regular Fruit Loops, if that makes any sense. The regular Fruit Loops, I do not like at all, but these Fruit Loops, I really like now moving on to the fruits and vegetables we got some bananas more bananas and then we got some more blueberries for the parfaits that i like to make and the fruit bowls and all the other stuff so got some blueberries for that got some more strawberries and i have a love-hate relationship with strawberries i like them but then again i don't like them i don't like eating them by themselves because I don't know, they be too tart for me. Until I find another fruit that I like like, then I'll just keep buying strawberries because strawberries are pretty. They're okay tasting and they don't make me feel like I'm about to throw up. And then I got some grapes. Got some broccoli because I love fresh broccoli. I don't like frozen broccoli. So I got some more fresh broccoli. And then I got two mangoes. I think I still have mangoes in the refrigerator right now. So I got some mangoes that aren't really ready to eat. And I have to keep getting these because I go through mangoes really quick. I eat them like they're an apple. And then I got some mandarins because I love mandarins, small oranges, whatever they are. They're super easy to eat. I can throw them in my purse. And I just really like mandarins. So I probably should have got two bags of these but I didn't. I got some small tomatoes for like pastas and my avocado toast. And then I got some almonds for my parfait. And then I re up on some cheese because this is the only cheese that I like. The other sharp cheeses is just really not my vibe. I don't like the way they taste. So I always go for the mild cheddar because it tastes like cheese. I really want to like this right now. Oh, it smells so good. Y'all, if y'all see this in TJ Maxx, Home Goods, Ross, wherever, please get it because it smells. It smells so good. I want to find like a huge one so I can like put it in um, the bookshelf. A whole vibe. All right, so this cabinet is like my breakfast cabinet, if that makes sense. I don't know why these cupcake things are over here. This should be in the other cabinet. What is this? This is party stuff. Oh, I had one more bag of stuff. I didn't know which one to get, so I got some tomato, basil, and garlic pasta sauce. I got the tomato, onion, and garlic, and then I got 
just the traditional pasta sauce. I probably should have got a pasta sauce or a pasta paste so I can make like homemade pizza because I really like homemade pizza. I like pizza in general. Pizza is my favorite food and I just can't give it up. Okay, so here's an overview of everything that I got. I don't know if you guys wanted to see this, but I just figured, let me put everything all out so y'all can see what's good with it. <laughs> or if you guys just want to see like everything up close, then this is why I am doing this. So yeah, this is all the groceries that I got. A close-up of the veggie chips. They are some veggie chips that you can get from Walmart. They might not be the same brand, but they do taste the same, so yeah veggie chips mandarins got some chocolate the mangoes broccoli strawberries all right so this is an overview of all the seasonings that i have i already showed y'all this but i just want to show y'all again um these are the new ones that i just got all of these right here and these are old these are spices that i already had we have some taco seasoning in the back salt basil more salt and yeah, that's about it for this drawer. I'm cooking right now, so don't mind that. <laughs> I don't know if y'all can see me. But right now, I'm just cooking up some of that pasta stuff that I was telling y'all about. I really don't know what to call it is, but it's kind of like spaghetti and meatballs, but without the spaghetti, just with these types of noodles. So, yeah, these noodles right here. This is ground turkey trying to thaw out because I did not take it out earlier, so I'm trying to thaw it out while cooking it, which is not a not the best thing I could do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Remember when you used to come to the old house? Mm-hmm. I was super shocked. I was I was very shocked. Shy that time. Okay. But I really wanna do do this and think. Hello, fellow people. So I'm gonna go the traditional route today and put this. in the ground turkey when it's done, but it's not done right now. So I'm just gonna hold off on that. Okay, I need to get the cheese. Man. All right, and I'm also going to cut up some tomatoes as well to put in the pasta. Hmm? He just what? Peed in the toilet? Oh, I thought you said he peed on the toilet. I was about to say. I'm not really taking my time to cut this up really neatly because ain't nobody gonna see it. I just cut my nail. I'm just cut my nail. I'm trying to cut it up in small little pieces so that my very picky niece doesn't know that they're in there. But she might block it because she's very picky and she notices every little taste difference. So we'll see if she eats it. I gotta fill it up with water and get all of it out, okay? I'm 
probably should have made this in a bigger pot, but we gonna go with it. A little bit, a little bit of garlic powder, a little bit of black pepper, a little bit of turmeric to help with the inflammation. Ooh, we need more turmeric. Yeah, It looks weird. It looks the same. What are you talking about? It looks dry when it was when it was not boiled. When it was not cooked. That's because it wasn't cooked. So that's how you make meatballs. No, these are not meatballs. It's just ground turkey. Meatballs are actually like meat in the shape of a ball. I didn't make that. Uh -huh. Because you're missing your hands and you don't need your hands. No, I can make meatballs. I'm just gonna figure out how to make it. And then you gotta taste it to make sure it's good. And then the last thing you do is sprinkle some cheese in it, just like that. Make sure you turn it on low. And then you just wanna stir it in. I don't wanna mix it in all the way, I just wanna stir it in. And then once you serve it, there'll be cheese in every little bite. Yes, I'm gonna sprinkle some more cheese on top of their noodles because they just like a lot of cheese. So that's what I shall do for them. But yeah, it looked real good. That's how the noodles look. They all dried out. And there you go, bon appetit. As my niece will say, um, what'd you call this again? Pasta spaghetti. Pasta. I, mean, I mean, no. What's the name you gave for it? At first it was pizza, it was pasta spaghetti, but now it's called... Meatball pasta spaghetti? Meatball pasta. Okay. All right, you heard it here first. Meatball pasta spaghetti.